So what is FTP, File Transfer Protocol? FTP is commonly used protocol for exchanging files over the internet. It uses the internet's TCP or IP protocols to enable data transfer. FTP promotes sharing of files via remote computer. FTP protocol is currently defined by RFC 959. You can create delete directory or listing file or deleting and remaining file. FTP is most commonly used to download a file from a server using the internet or to upload a file to a server. Here is some type of FTP. One is SFTP, one is FTP. SFTP is Secure File Transfer Protocol. It is a version of FTP that encrypts any command and data transfer, helping keep your password secure and your session private. SFTP is a different protocol than FTP. For you to establish a SFTP connection, you must be connecting to a computer that supports SFTP. Using SFTP to connect to an FTP server will not work. So, what is FTP? FTP doesn't encrypt its traffic. All transmissions are in clear text and username, password, command, and data can be read by anyone able to perform packet capturing on the network. Most of the web browsers support basic FTP. FTP itself uses TCP and UDP. So, what you can see clearly from here at the package is you can see the FTP server is located on 192.168.1.100 on port 21 and going to binary mode in order to facilitate the transfer of the picture to the client at 192.168.1.200 on its port 11191 and you can see clearly there's all the information in there So, here is an example of FTP client. First is Fauzilla. Fauzilla is open source program. It supports FTP, SFTP, and FTPS protocol. It's available for Windows, Machinedown, and Linux. It's a free download uh, program. The next one is Fire FTP. Fire FTP is a plugin for the popular Firefox browser that can be used just like a standalone FTP program. You can install it through a Firefox browser. The next one is Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver is a page layout design program which includes FTP access as one of its many features available for purchase from Adobe. So port is FTP using. FTP, the plan FTP using port 20 and 21. BFTP, which is named a background file transport program, is used port 152 and so on. So, how does it work? First of all, FTP client will open a random port to initiate the request, for example, port 1, and then it will forward its request for FTP connection from its port 1 to FTP server that listening on port 21, which is so I show. Next, FTP server will send back the arrangement back to the FTP client using its port, port address, which is port 1. And the FTP server will use port 21 only for connection setup and receiving commands from the FTP client. And now the connection is established and download may commence. At this point, the connection is only established between the FTP client and the FTP server. And here it's using TCP. So the FTP client will send a data request to the FTP server and like tell the server like hey send me the data I want to download. And a FTP client will open and run a new random port, for example port 2, as new delivery address. Now the FTP server knows to send the data to port 2 on the FTP client. So the FTP server will open a new port which is port 20 and the FTP server will only use port 20 for send data to the FTP client. Now the FTP server will send the data to the client using the client's port 2 exit delivery address and this is called download. So at this point is using UDP. 
So as a conclusion, the FTP server will only use port 21 for connection setup and receiving command from the FTP client and the FTP server will use only 20 for send the data to the FTP client. A file transfer from client to server is upload and if from server to client is download. So why port 20 and 21? Because there is a standard server listen to for FTP request and sending data. You can configure the server to use different port number if you want. But you need to let the server know which port you, you change. If not, the request will down. It's like, for example, everyone know calling 911 when there is an emergency. But what happens if the police change the 911 number to something different and have not told anyone? So people will still calling for 911 for help, but the police will know because they have listened to a different number. People who try to call the police will just keep keeping calling and calling without being aware that the phone number changed. This is the same concept with the FTP and its port. Now I will demo how to use FTP. So the client I download is Fauzilla and my phone I download FTP server so it will act like a server. So how to transfer a file from your lab, from your PC to your phone? First of all, you need to connect the Fauzilla to the server. So once you download the FTP application, you need to type in the username, password, and the port. The username, you can put any username you like. For example, I put mushroom. You need the password, you can put any password you want. For example, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. Okay. And then the port, you can put any port. For the port, you can put any port as long as it's more than 1023. Because one, before 1023 is reserved for another port. So, for example, I put 1092. And then the default interface, I choose IPv4 because it's the easiest to connect. And then the allow connection, I only allow the Wi Fi now I'm using. And then the directory, default directory, you can choose any directory you want, but I, for example, I choose for the SD card. Okay, once you're done, you start your FTP server service. Then you go to your flyer, you type in the host, which is 192.168 name, the password, abc123, and then the port 1092. And then connect. So now the PC is connected to my phone. So how do I transfer the file from my PC to the phone? For example, I open a new directory here. And then the name I put haha. Okay. And then haha here. For example, I want to move these two pictures to there. So I can double click the photo or just move like this. And then how do I know is it really transferred to my phone? So to check it, go to the phone, your SD card, find the haha. -ha. Then this two is the picture I move. So to move file from the phone to the PC is do the same thing. So like for example, uh, I want to move file. Like 
example, but this file, I want to move to my PC. So to move it, I need to find out a file from here, which is in download. This, just move here. So to check it, we go to the file. This here. So this is how you move the file from the phone to the PC and from the PC to the phone. That's all my presentation. Thanks for watching.